I would be flat out. Well, uh, I would be flat out lying if I said I was disappointed. If I said I wasn't disappointed, of course. It's a bit, bit of disappointed. It's just disappointing. Most people here, to say, to say the least, will be disappointed, and I'm being kind when I say that. Not as excited as I, I was this morning. McAuliffe made several mistakes, unfortunately. There's many things that McAuliffe probably could and should have done better. Like allowing Youngkin to beat him to the punch on certain issues like taxes, and he allowed the, himself, rightly or wrongly, to be defined as anti-parents. Maybe that debate when you did the education thing? Yeah. I, I think the grassroots support wasn't there. The grassroots campaigning wasn't there like it's been with, with many other campaigns. Some of the ineptitude of the Biden administration around the Afghan uh, withdrawal and the Delta variant, as well as some of the, you know, uh, the stalemate in Congress is all affecting things locally. Because Biden was then was not able, hasn't been, a, and, uh, and uh, Congress have not been able to get to the, the two bills passed, that has dragged his approval rating down as well as national Democrats. No getting around that. Well, one thing is, is I don't feel that the Republicans have to tell the truth. You can't lower taxes and then increase education fund funding. And of course, you had of Youngkin playing this game of, on the one hand, appealing to the Trump base with all his dog whistles and at the same time, you know, sort of staying uh, appealing to the moderates with all his uh, uh, push for education and economy. Youngkin ran a good campaign, I think, uh, unfortunately. <laughs>